Hey guys, so I thought I, well, now I've finally, finally finished the tunes for winter and spring, so I thought I'd do another uh, custom track with you, uh, or show you one, at least. Uh, and we're going to be doing, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be doing Round and Round, it's called. Uh, it's road racing, three laps, and let's see, where is it? Uh, six five two three five three eight three four there we go round and round autumn afternoon light rain anything goes b700 mainly to get rid of the goddamn four crap cars and audi crap cars that the ai keep bringing and we're going to be driving this, the 1970 Datsun 510 that I have used several times. And yes, I will leave the share code for the paint job in uh, below the video. Uh, so let's see. Um, the lap times are roughly 3 minutes and 15 seconds which gives a total race time of about 9 minutes 40 to 10 minutes there about uh, these are my settings I could probably turn that down a bit nah, let's try let's see if I get my ass kicked I probably will but yeah whatever uh, and of course the AI will bring a Ford Raptor, a Ram Power Wagon, that's normal road racing cars, of course, everybody knows this. Uh, uh, Ford Raptor famously, uh, famous for its uh, road racing ability or something. Yeah, stupid AI. Let's start the race. And let me just pull up the map and show you what we're doing. So this is the track, and basically it goes like this. It goes up to this corner, down around here, and then up to this very tight corner, and then back around to the start line. Very simple. But yeah, round and round it goes. Well, I just love it when they try to ram you off the road. Or as support would call it, well, that's just a lane change. And no, no, it really isn't. That was like purposely trying to run me off the road. Maybe I picked the wrong car for this. Oh well, if I get my ass kicked, I get my ass kicked. And for this corner, you want to break early. Because, well, if you break late, you're going to miss it by about a mile. Because, well, it's raining, which means you're driving on a mixture of soap, ice, and water, apparently.
Oh, crap. Well, that went well. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be driving today. I actually, I have to admit, I stole this design. Uh, I tried a blueprint one day, and I, to be honest, I have no clue who made it. I can't remember. Um, and I copied it because, well, I thought it was kind of great, actually. Get back here, you don't have that grip. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, I shouldn't use rewind, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it anyway. It's kinda weird how suddenly you lose grip. I mean, you have grip, you have grip. Oh, sorry, don't have grip anymore. I wanna win, so yeah. And actually, I have complaints. <laughs> um, a while back, I made a video about my bunny ears going missing when I was driving the Portofino. And this was like three months ago. And I made a ticket with the video and nothing happened. No replies or anything. Then suddenly, the other day, all of my open tickets, and like the Portofino one was the oldest, but ranging from three months from the Portofino down to, I think it was three weeks, all of them with no reply at all, were suddenly all marked as solved. And nothing was solved no reply, it, was, it wasn't fixed, the issues, and I had to reopen them all, and still they have gotten no reply at all, and this was almost a week ago now. I, I think the support department, either they just, oh my god, it's him again, or they all just left, and I'm not really sure if the support department is like physically located in America or what and they're out busy looting or they've all gotten the coronavirus or whatever um, but yeah there's absolutely no reply from support these days um, so if you send in a support ticket don't expect a reply just expect that your ticket will be marked as, as solved at one point and for no apparent reason that is. So I'm I think they just closed the support department. They had enough of our shit apparently. Or maybe it's just me. That's actually quite possible.
God damn it. So how does the Subaru get that much grip? All of a sudden. And acceleration when it wants to. And braking when it wants to. Just love it when they, like, mid-corner, for no apparent reason, slam on the brakes. And you ram into them, and then they get a nitrous boost. Really annoying, actually. ahead of schedule. So, there we go. That was round and round. Um, <sighs> Come on. Yes, yes. Wow. wow. See, this is why I get, uh, I want wheel spins. I mean, 2000? Wow. So, I was using the 1970 Datsun 510, and the tune I'm using is uh, oh, it's this one. And the share code for that is ta da! There you go. And the rest of the information I'll leave below the video. So, yeah, remember, if you use one of my tunes, please remember to like it, and the same goes with the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.